Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you guys can see by the title, today I'm doing a, another one of my full full face of nothing new. You guys seem to really love the series because it kind of reminds you to use the products that you have, maybe rediscover them. And to kick it up a notch, I decided to do a fall version of this. So we're gonna do the fall vibes today. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, you know what to do. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. All right, I did my hair so fast today and it's like, we can tell. You should have seen the way it looked before. I slept with my hair wet and it was just like, super excited about today's video. I love like shopping my makeup collection for these videos. Let me know if you want me to like film that part. I could grab my phone and just like shop with you guys and maybe you can go through my like thought process with me. I think because of the fallness of everything, I feel like we have to do a little bit of like, uh, lights you guys i don't know why i thought it was a good idea to um, wear sweatpants and a long sleeve shirt i'm like already sweating let's get into it so i do have a box full of makeup right here that i picked out today i also have some diet coke so for primer this product is not the oldest, not the newest, but I remember really liking it and I kind of wanted to use it again. This is the NYX Freezy Primer. I do have a combination of high-end and drugstore. I wasn't really thinking too much about like keeping it high-end or drugstore. Um, I remember really liking this and I feel like it's still really full because I never use anything that much unless it becomes like a holy grail. But I really like this. It's essentially a like a moisturizer slash primer. I do have moisturizer on my skin and it actually has niacinamide and snow mushroom. Um, I really like it because it's kind of like an all-in-one. So it does have almost a little bit of like a silicone texture. I don't hate that. I don't know why everybody hates that, but it does actually blur the pores nicely. Is it gonna be like the most blurring primer? No, but it's also hydrating and it's also cooling and it also creates a really nice base. So it's kind of like one of those do-it-all primers, you know? And I really like it and I remember just really enjoying the way everything laid on top. No, I, I kind of want to do does not necessarily like a matte look for fall, but definitely not like luminous. And I just feel like this is a good product for that. Like adds the hydration, hides the pore, kind of mattifies a little bit, but doesn't dry out your skin. So I really like this product. This is a, technically I believe it's a skin tint. This is a skin tint that once I tried it, I absolutely loved it. And again, I just forget to use certain products, but this is like, I wouldn't say fairly new, but it came out this year, I believe. And so, you know, old enough, new enough. This is from Say Beauty. It's actually the only thing I've ever tried from Say. It's their Glowy Super Skin Foundation in the shade 15? 15. This is very, very liquidy, but I really, I remember really, really freaking loving it. It is glowy, but you can like tone it down with some powder. And so because I'm like, am I making sense with the type of finish that we want today? I like to always start out with just one pump of anything and just see if I can make it work because I just hate having so much foundation on my face, especially because I always put like so many cream products on top that like I don't need to start off with like a heavy foundation. How are you guys doing? Are you guys enjoying fall? Is it officially fall now? I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter what officially is official when you're in Texas because it is still 105 degrees over here. It is still peak summer. I have plans next weekend to go to the pool with my best friend. So over here, it is really just not, not feeling, I'm not feeling the vibes, but apparently we're supposed to have like a really cold winter, which in theory, that would like make me super happy. I love the cold weather but they they're saying that there's gonna be like a lot of like um like ice storms and if you're from texas you know a couple years ago we all lost power because of the ice storm so oh i just i hope it doesn't happen i hope i'm not like manifesting it right now it gets like a light to medium coverage it feels super lightweight and again it's glowy but not overly glowy and you guys know i like that nothing overly i don't like extremes i don't i'm not an extreme person by any means with anything I like to be in the middle. Okay, so for cream bronzer, because you know we're never gonna 
skip cream bronzer don't say anything to me but i wanted to use this let me tell you why this is the lys bronzing stick i knew about it before you knew about it and i told you about it and you didn't listen and now tiktok's telling you about it and now you're listening i hope you're listening this is great i feel like a lot of people think this is like a new product it is not a new product uh, I have loved it forever, but no one listens to me. We're going to use it today because I haven't used it in a while because I was like, maybe I shouldn't use... It's so funny. I go through these phases of like... By the way, can you tell I have ADHD? I go through these phases where it's like, I don't want to use products because I love them so much I don't want to run out. But then it's like, I never run out because I have so many products. So then I'm like, I need to use my products. So... Let's use this product. This is in the shade Harmony. I just love it, I do. Um, I'm gonna be using this brush from Laura Lee Los Angeles, the L31. I was thinking about maybe doing a video of my current favorite brushes. I have done that video before, but it's been years. Let me know if you want that because I know that I'm like scattered brain and sometimes I just forget to tell you guys what brushes I'm using. I'm just not used to doing that. And uh, I obviously do have like a favorites that I use all the time so maybe I could create that video for you guys and then maybe I could also just link it on my description and then maybe that's something you guys could reference you know let me know if you guys are interested in that I'm grabbing the smallest amount and just putting this on the perimeter of my face because I don't care what season I don't care what color I am I'm always gonna bronze always I, NYX primer is like so cooling I like my under eyes feel cool and I was trying to figure out if I put eye cream before this and I was like what am I feeling under my eyes it's that freaking NYX primer have you guys been watching love is blind I always watch it but obviously now that it's like in Houston I was like I'm definitely gonna watch it I was hoping I would know someone I don't for concealer we're gonna be using I think in my opinion one of the best concealers on the market in the drugstore area it is the flower beauty light illusion concealer I do you have this shade i hope this shade works for me actually medium honey it might be a little dark i don't know i always prefer something darker though rather than like super light yeah this will work it's just like super peachy and it's full coverage and it's lightweight and it's hydrating so if you've been looking for something like this this is your chance. Oh my god, we forgot to do blush. I've been loving doing blush before concealer. It's definitely a little darker than I would want, but I was definitely a lot tanner when I bought this. But see how it's just like melting onto the skin? Um, this concealer actually reminds me a lot of the Tower 28 concealer, which you guys know it's my new favorite. Something about the Tower 28, I just like a little bit better, but I feel like if you're looking for like something similar, I feel like this would be it. Now that we look snatched, uh, let's go ahead and do some cream blush. So, I am not an orange blush girl. I have a whole drawer of blushes and I really don't have that many orange blushes, but I do have this, which I don't think I've ever touched. You guys know how much I love the um, Pixie On The Glow blush. I always use Ruby. But I don't know, I figured because we're doing like fall, maybe I should just like give it a shot. Uh, this is the On The Glow blush in the shade Juicy. Yeah, I don't think I've ever touched it. With a cream blush, you can kind of go ham if you are going to powder over it. So we could try it out and if I don't like it, we'll just put something on top. So I'm going to grab this Sigma brush. It's the angled cheek brush. And I just like to grab it straight from the this. I don't like swiping most things on my face especially something like this i don't know why everyone's like swiping and swiping i like to tap it in and this formula is so nice again this is my first time trying this color and it's actually really really pretty it's not as like crazy as i thought it would be um it is a glowy uh blush but it sets really nice with powder which hello that's what i like and it has lasting power and it also works really nicely over powder if you watch my channel a lot, you've heard this spiel or spiel, spiel from me so many times, but um, just letting you guys know, if you're new here, uh, we are fans of this. This looks really pretty. I almost wish it was a little bit more dramatic. <laughs> why do I always want the opposite? I don't know why I thought this was going to be like scary pumpkin spice on my face type deal. No, this is actually really, really nice. Um, I am going to add a little bit more concealer. I'm still liking that flower one, but it's like just not, it's not hitting the same at this point. It's probably just expired. 
if I'm being if I'm being honest if I'm being honest I told you guys I was gonna buy this concealer on the Ulta sale and I sure did this is the Lancome tint Dull ultra wear concealer I have it in the shade um, B I S W and I have been really liking it and I just need a little bit more coverage so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it right here. Sorry guys, we're doubling up on concealer. It's like such a thin formula, but if you just let it dry for a second, you do get like that full coverage. It's not super drying, it's not super mattifying, it's not super anything. Again, we love a balanced meal of makeup. I'm gonna let it dry for a sec. You guys, I don't know why. I have a powder that everybody loves, and I bought it and I remember, I was like, okay, it's okay. Um, but then everyone's convincing me that I should like it more, so I'm going to try it again. Um, I think it's because maybe I didn't use a powder puff when I bought this, but now the powder puff has changed the game for all of us and for all powders. When I bought this powder, this is when I realized that this is a great idea. I need to start buying more minis of at least like high-end things because it's like I don't go through makeup and so I need to just stop spending so much money and wasting so much. So I bought the One Size by Patrick Star powder. They did come out with like a pinky one, but I just got the translucent because it's always like the safest way to go. I've never used it with a powder puff. Usually I prefer a powder that is pressed for under the eyes, but um, everyone says this is like magic in a tub, so we're gonna test it out today. When you grab it, you wanna make sure you like tap off the excess so that you get like an even layer of powder, especially when you're talking about under your eyes. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, this feels really, really lightweight. Kind of feels like one of those like HD powders. Did it make my under eye a little darker? Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're having concealer problems, but now it's like, I don't know if it's the concealer or the powder, but I will say very, very mattifying and blurring, but not drying. This might be absolutely stunning all over the face. That actually looks really nice. Do you guys, do you see my pores? Look, disappear. Wow. You know, this actually feels so lightweight and I almost didn't expect that because Obviously, like, Patrick Star, uh, I believe he has oily skin, and he, like, really kicks on the makeup, and so I'm surprised he came out with such, like, a lightweight powder, but I guess this would be perfect for baking. This is the purpose of the video. I might actually have to start using this more, um, especially during the colder months, because it's really, really, like, mattifying my skin, but I can barely feel it. Like, it doesn't feel, like, super tight and drying the way other powders do. This little travel size is actually a pretty good amount of product. So if you want to test it out, I mean, or maybe if you like just don't go through powders as quickly, just get the, just get the travel size and then you can travel with it. One time I went to the airport with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder and I had it in a carry-on like in my makeup bag and they had to take it out and make sure it wasn't like drugs ever since then i like stopped traveling like with my carry-on with loose powder i always check my loose powder because you never know and the last thing you're gonna do is take away my powder or any of my makeup really okay so for bronzer i have two just in case we need the other so i was first thinking the milani bronzer this is the silky matte bronzer it's such a beautiful bronzer and it also just like screams fall because it's so like blurring and mattifying but i don't know if this shade will work for me or if it's going to look too flat so if we run into that issue maybe we can add a little bit of the revlon skin lights this is in the shade sun kissed beam this is not like shimmery but it's luminous and so maybe we do need a little luminosity in our lives i don't know i do believe they did come out with like at least one or two deeper shades i hope i'm not wrong but I remember I couldn't really talk too much about this product because this is like the deepest shade that they used to have, which was just like, hello. But I believe that they did expand their shade range. I mean, I freaking hope they did. As you can see, it definitely does transfer a little bit darker than it looks on the pan, but still, this can't be your deepest shade, okay? Should we add the Revlons on top just for fun? I will say this looks stunning. I mean, look at this, stunning. Let's do it just for fun because we have nothing else to do. Um, so I'm just going to add a little bit of this because I'm crazy. Literally the smallest amount. I mean, you might not even notice a difference. We love her. Again, I don't have very many 
warm toned blushes and so I grabbed two they're both from Benefit and I have Tara which is this is like a shimmery like a shimmery like a kind of like a shimmery terracotta shade and then pom pom is actually a matte shade and I know it's not warm but it's I don't know it's giving kind of fall and the Terra is actually like probably a better shade but do we really want shimmer right now these are pretty pigmented so I'm gonna <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna go in with a light hand but you guys know I'm just gonna build it up until it just gets super heavy oh okay all right you know some of those powder formulas that kind of look shimmery but they're not that shimmery they're just like a little luminous it's actually really pretty and it is adding some life back into my skin these are like medium pigmentation so they're really nice you can definitely build them or go light-handed with them i kind of want to do a lot of blush i know it's like more of a summery thing to do but i don't know what it is but in the fall it's kind of like cold girl makeup you know like i am freezing even though i'm actually sweating right now in my sweatpants all right so fun fact about the naked urban decay heat no the urban naked no the Urban Decay Naked Heat. Let me know in the comments if you have been watching me this long because this is actually a gift that my roommate in college gave to me, Nat. And Nat has actually been on my videos a couple times. Uh, let me know if you guys remember her or if you remember when I got this palette. This palette is still available and I think that if you're an Urban Decay junkie, a naked, a naked palette junkie or just a like freaking fire junkie when it comes to makeup this is such a great palette especially for the fall um i think we're gonna do a halo eye i recently did a halo eye on my best friend for the beyonce concert and she looked fire i told her she could pick whatever look she wanted but she doesn't know like that much about makeup and so i actually did a cut crease and a halo eye on myself and i was like you can pick and I had so much fun doing a halo eye, so we're going to do a halo eye. Let's see. Let's start out with sauced, and we're just going to put this all over the crease. When it comes to halo eye, I like to start off with, like, a base shade. And instead of just doing it on the crease, I do like to also put it all the way in the inner corner so that that way we're starting the base for just, like, the edges of the halo eye. So just do that for a little bit. You know what I just realized? There is no gold shimmer in this. There's only like three shades that are like shimmer that are all red. And then this is like a, like a bronzy duochrome. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to grab a smaller brush and now I'm going to go into the shade low blow. And it's still a fairly light shade, but I'm going to start patting it on the outer and inner corner. Again, we're just going to start building this up and I'm not winging it out on purpose because usually with halo eyes, I just like to keep it more in like a rounded like shape. So I'm going inner and outer corner and then whatever's left on the brush, I just do a little bit on the crease. Going in with a smaller brush, I'm just going to mix cayenne and en fuego back and forth and I'm going to use this combination again on the outer corner obviously now we moved into like deeper shades and so that's why i do have a smaller brush so that it doesn't like go everywhere and again we're just gonna go back and forth i was literally telling my best friend lena when i was doing her um halo eye i was like this is actually such an easy concept you just have to like layer a couple shades and it looks so pretty none of these shades are they're stunning they're just not right for this look and so I'm kind of cheating, kind of not, because I don't have rules in this video. But I grabbed another Naked palette that I love. This one I use all the time. Well, I used to. Um, this is the Naked Half Baked. And this freaking shade Breadwinner is the Breadwinner. So I'm going to grab it with my finger. It is stunning. And I'm just going to put it on the middle. And I'm going to extend it out more than I would like, because I do want to blend like the darker shades in and I don't want to lose like the spotlight so I always kind of like overdo it I don't have anything extra on it I'm just going to blend out the edges and then I might go back in with just maybe like a deeper shade we need to like make this just a little bit more deep so I'm going to use the shade ashes which is the 
uh, matte purple and now this is going to like be super dark so I'm just going to go in lightly and only concentrate it on the outer inner corner but like barely blend it. I just want to add that darkness and that depth. Depth. I always have such a hard time saying that word. Depth. Depth. I don't, I don't think it's like spelled the right way because then we would say depth. Depth. I don't know, man. I'm gonna just go straight into low blow. I don't really pay attention that much to my lower lash line. As long as, long as I have something smoked out, we are in business. So I'm just kind of building this up. And I'm gonna grab the shade Cayenne and add a little bit to the outer corner. Alrighty, guys. So I did go ahead and tight line a little bit and I added just a little bit of black shadow on the lash line. I don't think we needed like a lot of eyeliner. I wanna like make this just pop so I'm gonna grab the shade half baked and use it as my inner corner highlight and I did wet this but I'm gonna grab rocky on top to make it like more gold what's going on here maybe I wet my brush too much yeah okay here we go I'm literally not going anywhere today I'm gonna like as soon as I finish this I'm gonna edit and then I'm gonna hop on the treadmill and take a shower for mascara I am so excited I used to be freaking obsessed with this mascara from benefit they're real magnet I personally don't love that they're real mascara it's okay it just doesn't do anything for me but the real magnet this does a lot to me. So I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes with my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. So I remember just loving this mascara because it is a silicone wand. I do prefer silicone wands and it has spikes, but the formula is pretty thickening. And so just the combination of like everything, I remember just loving it. I think I over curled my lashes. Have you guys ever over curled your lashes to the point where they don't look long? They just are literally over curled. I'm gonna bring them back down to earth real quick. Come down. Come down. Come down. Wait, wait, I'm singing two different songs. I was trying to sing the Selena one. Alrighty, so for the lips, I grabbed the um, LA Girl Ultimate Lip Liner in the shade Keep It Spicy because it's just such a good, it's just such a good warm tone yet neutral. These are so inexpensive, so pigmented. They're creamy, they're great, they're attractable, we love. And then I'm gonna add the shade Temp. This is a bullet lipstick that is a matte finish, but is very creamy and comfortable, and I've literally worn this a thousand times. It's not as warm as I would want, so let me top it off real quick with L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick in the shade Snooze Your Alarm, just in the middle, just like this. Love it. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to set the face with the iconic Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. She is still that girl. Will always be that girl. All right. You guys are going to have to just ignore the hair. I mean, the hair is not hairing today, but the makeup is. I mean, is this not just the perfect warm tone, smoky eye for the fall with a nice warm lip? I mean, I am obsessed. I think it goes great with everything i'm loving the vibes and you know what these makeup products all just were so nice so remember you don't need to go buy all the new makeup products you probably have so many products that you can use in so many ways that will look just as nice as the new products and it's okay to also treat yourself to new products just know that you don't need anything you just want it but you don't always have to get everything okay all right hope that you guys enjoyed this video i will link everything down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye